All right, uh, good people. Uh, but uh, Janet Love, the IEC commissioner, must be arrested, right? So there is a petition, here, guys, that I want you guys to. That I want you guys to. Uh, there's a petition that I want you guys to see. Um, guys, definitely, definitely, good people, you need to see this petition uh, right now, right? Um, so I'm just I'm going through the petition as of me now. Look, look as of me now. Uh, like sorry, as of me now. Look, talking to you, there is this petition that says um, that there's this petition that uh, speaks about the fact that he must she must be arrested. Now, I need to give you a bit of a background as far as this woman. Why people are saying you must be arrested, right? Well, this it comes a long way. It comes all the way from uh, all, all the way from uh, her remarks and everything about Jacob Zuma, uh, the the rigging of elections. And you remember, even prior to that, there was already a concern that uh, number one, she is a friend to Ramaphosa. Number two, she is a member of the ANC. How do you have a commissioner that is a, a, a commissioner presiding over elections that are supposed to be free and fair, yet you have a person who is a friend of an individual and associated to an organization to uh, look off that friend presiding over elections? How are you expecting things to be free and fair? To be quite honest, they could have hired people, teachers, whatever. They are a lot of people that could have been hired who are independent but they chose people who local people who are already have questionable characters is it drc congo where she's accused of rigging ele ele elections even then so you can see that the similarities wherever she is there's always some sort of accusations that follows her as well now in south africa she has came under a serious scrutiny she has been seriously scrutinized uh, look her character has, ca has come under a serious microscope right uh, so with that being said uh, we can we can uh, confirm that uh, we I mean, sorry we, yes I, I can confirm indeed that yes there's now an a look a look I'm gonna go through I'm gonna read this petition but also what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it in the video description below should you wish to sign uh, such petition. Then you have to go through, you'll have to just check in the video description below. You will find the petition right there. And then definitely, I know good, some of you guys will definitely sign the petition, right? Because it's not an illegal thing uh, to, to sign a petition that seeks, uh, that oh, that says that people go through legal processes, people must be removed because they are deemed not free and fair, not independent as they should. Well, in this YouTube channel, I know for a fact that we are independent as we should, right? Why am I saying we are independent? Because when I ask you to subscribe, it is from you. So you decide whether you do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay we are about to proceed but before we proceed with everything uh in me let me just tell you as of me guys uh, as of me uh look as of me now uh reading this so far, people who have signed the petition today, and the petition is very new, 
151 who signed today. The total signatures there on are 203, and uh, the next goal is to get to 500. But I know that once I share the, the this thing here, it's gonna blue in no time. Why? Because I've seen it the other time there was a look a petition we shared the next thing it was on 50 something a thousand signatures. So I know that once I share this, then it's gonna make a difference as well. I don't know why I did not see this petition. It only surfaced on my thing uh, recently, but don't worry, we will deal with this as well. It says why this petition uh, Janet Love, the IEC official behind the rigged election in look, why, let me start here. Why this petition? Janet Love, the IEC official behind the rigged election in South Africa, must be arrested. She met with American amb amb ambassador two weeks before the election. Then suddenly DA got 55% of the votes in Western Cape, a region where they have never received more than 15% support. During a critical um, three-hour period, when the IEC system was frozen during the recount, uh, during the, during the uh, wait, during a recount, DA vote searched unexplicably to 55%. This is a clear evidence of manipulation and injustice. We want justice now. Sign this petition to demand Janet Love's immediate resignation and ensure, uh, ensure fair elections in South Africa. Now, let me repeat this because it's quite important. We get the fact that, uh, let me see also what is written below here. She must, she must go. Uh, look, she must go and be arrested because, because of, uh, of her, uh, because she's the one who rigged the elections. That is a comment I see. I believe elections were uh, like elections was rigged, and Janet Labs was involved with norms. <laughs> Right, but uh, again, those are some of the comments that are coming up here to say, uh, uh, Janet Love, no, no, love, no, <laughs> no, no, love, Mrs. Love, no, you must be arrested. That, that, is, that is something that I'm seeing here. But let me read this for the last time. It says, Janet Love, I'd say, why this petition? Janet Love, the IEC official behind the rigged elections in South Africa, must be arrested. She met with American, um, look, American ambassador uh, two weeks before the elections. Then suddenly DA got 55% votes in Western Cape, a region where they have never received, um, they have never received more than 15% support during critical three-hour period when the IEC system was frozen during recount. DA vote surged inexplicably to 55%. This is a clear evidence of manipulation and injustice. We want justice now. Sign this petition to demand Janet's love uh, immediate resignation and ensure fair elections in South Africa. Um, Good people, tell me in the comment section below. I'm interested to know, what do you have to say for yourself? Speak for yourself, fellow South African. <laughs> Speak for yourself now. It is about time that now you speak for yourself. Do you think a friend of Ramaphosa, a member of the ANC, presiding over a uh, look, uh, presiding over elections, the elections were indeed gonna be free and fair? What, what are you saying? Get into the comment section. I'm interested, guys. My question with everything here is, why not get people that we are we are very sure that they are free and independent? Because they are, you know, we could have gone to police station. If ever there are no charges or whatever that we can find, then we could have gone and get some police, a police officer somewhere, a teacher somewhere, uh, somebody in the corporate space, you know, who does not have political affiliation. 
and then we let them preside over these elections and then the elections become free and fair because even if they might have political inclination but they do not have political affiliation uh, two different things um, I might be inclined to favor you but if I'm not affiliated to your, your thing I might, I might also you know what I'm saying to get upon that's a difference I'm trying to show you the difference between the word inclination and affiliation so we could have found people that are, are, look, are, in, are, 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 politic, are not politically affiliated. Why choose, why choose people who are politically affiliated when there are people who are indeed independent, free and fair? Why? I don't get it. Maybe you do. Get into the comment section below. Tell me why you do.